Ready to go, baby? Yeah. And today we are continuing our epic road trip across Laos and hopefully getting to Takeg to today. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, we've already hit the roads in the air. Uh, still in bad condition. Um, nothing wow. changed overnight. Um, <laughs> but we're going to look for some breakfast soon. And yeah, just see where, where this road takes us. Maybe we won't end up going in the direction of Takeg. Ta ta that's the best. That's the gap. Maybe we won't end up going in the direction of Takek. Maybe we'll end up on some other path. Who knows? We are open to all of the adventures. Tuk Tuk and we drove around the whole of Sri Lanka and wow the roads were in amazing and <laughs> like these roads are such bad condition. Um, the people are so sweet, so giving. The uh, nature was amazing. And above all, the food. The oh. food. Yeah, we would definitely go back. Oh, oh. <laughs> only for the food. We had Idiapa in the morning, lots of curries during the day. Um, yeah, it, it's just like a very little place, but it's just very beautiful. We, we love it here in Laos, but I think we have been, like, in Laos we eat a lot of the same. So we eat sticky rice every day, or rice, um, with vegetables. And as a veg as vegetarians, that's, that's kind of all that there is accessible everywhere. Yeah. And also we've already spent three months in total here, so I think we're ready for some new foods. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else do you do when you're on the road? Hey. You bike, like you talk about food all the time. <laughs> so guys, a really bad habit of doing that. Whenever we're somewhere where there isn't food, she loves to talk so about food. So if we are on like a, a long hike, so is like, oh my god, chalk like this, blah blah blah, and I'm like, we don't have access to any of that. <laughs> it makes me happy uh, talking about it, and it makes me hungry. <laughs> Talking about food, we found some breakfast, I think. Meow. I see. Yeah. My butt. Oh. Ready. Oh. Guys, you have no idea how painful this is. Even my my how do you call it? My bone. Coxic. My coxic. Tailbone. My tailbone is super painful. Whew. Okay, so for us this is a little bit too expensive yep. because you can find uh, fried rice with veggies for half the price, 15,000. Yeah, so I think, yeah, for us, it's we're going to head the road to see how far we get. Uh, I'm not super hungry yet, are you? I'm okay. So, um, yeah, let's see how much further we can get and see if there's somewhere along the way. Yeah, good. <laughs> you have um, cow? Cow? Uh, they're not here, no? Ah, uh, okay, come tell a lie. Okay, no.
Wir feiern Breakfast. Two bananas on the road. It's very hard to find breakfast um, this morning. <laughs> Nowhere has vegetarian or they don't understand this. Um, yeah, we arrive here and there's two bananas. What do you think? Should we eat it? <laughs> You have a cow? Cow? Ah, noodles. Yes. Uh, J? Yeah? This is. Yeah. Um, no meat. Bomi sin, bomi pa. Pa. Pak? Pak. Pak. Yeah, pak. This okay. This okay. Yeah. Uh, cow. Yeah. And meat. Pa pa pa. No. And mm, no. Unfortunately, in Laos, they don't have a word for vegetarian. You can say pak, which means vegetables, or without Ready. meat, without Ready. fish. Yes, it's ah. Bomi sin, bomi pa. Bomi sin, mi pa. Bo. 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 Kopchai. Kopchai lalai. Ah, good. Yeah, good, good, good. Good chai. And it's table. Oh, this is meat. What? What is it? this? Ah, cow. No, no, no. Bo, bo, bo. I know we're difficult, but I mean, I've been vegetarian for like almost my whole life, and Kieran for five years, and I think we just wouldn't be able to to eat meat or fish again. So, yeah, I know it's in the heads, but still. Yeah, it's, it's up here. But yeah. yeah. Okay, they're, they're sweet, so yeah. <laughs> we're happy to find this place. Come chai! Looks so blank. And this is half the price of the other place that we tried. 15,000 uh, for a bowl of noodles with veggies. It looks amazing. Yeah, she gives up to these big panniers, which look amazing. Look at this! Wow! Amazing. I cannot wait to survive me. This is the best. This was an insanely delicious meal for a dollar. Yeah, and after us on this ride, saying, ah, oh, you know, the food is the same thing. <laughs> Here we get an amazing noodle dish. We haven't had noodles in so long, mm -hmm. and it was. So delicious. We highly recommend if you're in <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. If you're in the middle of nowhere, look for this. Go to a local this, like, restaurant and just say like, give me whatever you want. Depending if you're vegetarian, but yeah, yeah. Give me whatever you want. You'll get the best food. I think it's part of the experience. Like you know, you, you, I wouldn't have ordered this, but it came. It was delicious. Mm. And I would order yeah. it again. <laughs> We might be heading towards rain. Oh, it looks beautiful though, but yeah. It's heavy fine. rain, I think. Let's see. If it rains, I might stop uh, underneath some shower. Wow. That's good. Wow. Yeah, it's a So this road that we are on is actually the end of the Takek loop. So most people start in Takek, drive east, north, west, then south. And because we're coming from Indian, we're taking the south road down to Takek. So we're going to be doing some of the things on this road, I think. I think we're going to go maybe to a cave. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Let's go and check it out. So good is, uh, is my GPS, so <laughs> she makes all the decisions and I just drive. Country roads. Yeah. I'm not doing this for fun. This is because. Ah! Hold on to me. 
be, yeah? Yeah. My butt is so freaking painful. Um, it might look like it's super comfortable. Ooh. Sitting on a bike. So by the... But actually, my God, my butt, my coccyx, my back, everything is so, so in pain. Um, but yeah, I guess I have to take that with, with uh, the bike. If you knew how painful it was going to be, compared to all the fun we have, would you still do the trip? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah. I would still do the trip. Although, actually, I don't know if I would walk the trip. Walk? Yeah. The duck again. Awesome. We walked to our... Uh, we walked to our we wedding. Walked to our <laughs> we did walk to our wedding, 500 kilometers over one month. Uh, with our backpack and tent and that was the most amazing month of our life and I have to say walking was also painful I had a lot of blisters a lot of pain but it was it was such a nice way to travel as well very different I guess yeah I don't know which one I prefer what do you prefer oh, walking no I think both, both of them have the everything has its charm like the tuk-tuk was really like convenience and comfort walking is much slower and um, cost efficient as well because you, uh, well I guess you were spending on accommodation well we didn't spend the accommodation we were camping um, and then the bike I think the bike is maybe the most fun maybe combined with the tuk tuk um, tuk tuk <laughs> yeah the tuk tuk and the bike are the most fun tuk tuk is the most comfortable <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Also, not maybe the, the the tuk tuk was harder for roads as well because sometimes we got stuck. Even though the roads in Sri Lanka were incredible, there was one or two like big, deep, wet parts where we just got stuck in the mud. <laughs> Luckily, we always had uh, always had locals around us to help us uh, get out of the mud. Yeah, they were super helpful in Sri Lanka. They were amazing. Everywhere you go in Southeast Asia, I feel like people are just trying to help you, and it's a really it's a beautiful thing. Unlike this road, this is not a beautiful thing. Oh, the pain in the freaking what? Also, there are some really, really dark clouds just in front of us. We hope it's not going to rain. Oh, it might, it might start soon. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Too much. Wow, it's hit hard. Ooh. Remember the GoPro is at waterproof honey. Oh my god, it's gonna storm. We saw a little check here, so we're going to hide underneath. Oh my god, it's crazy. Wow, insane! <laughs> Crazy! Beautiful though, the landscape is amazing. How far are we from the Cape? <laughs> Just two hours to get there, babe. I can make it back about an hour or so. Five minutes? Not far. We've been here for around about half an hour and had a lot of fun actually. We created some content for Patreon. We created some content for Instagram. Mm -hmm. And here we are creating some content for YouTube. <laughs> this is a really nice break actually. Yep. Happy that it starts raining. Yeah, the, the landscape is just so beautiful and it's a good break for our butts. And yeah, just chill time now just mm -hmm. until hopefully it passes and then we can go and see some caves. The sky has cleared up and we're now on our way to see the cave. Do it! This All whole right village is like abandoned, there is no one here, it's super strange. Ah, there is something. Is oh my god, there is pigs! Piggies! <laughs> oh my god, can we go? So there should be a bridge uh, just here and on the other side of the bridge should be a cave so let's see if we can cross 
I think the only way is by boat. Really? I think so. I'm not sure. I need to ask how much it is for a boat. White buffalo? This is crazy. So beautiful. I'm like. ในถ้ำมะลา850 850เมตรในถ้ำวันนี้เข้าใจนะจากในถ้ำไปวุลาเป็นเป็น3เป็น3000 3000 3000 is 3000 อ่ะ no 3000 300 this ไปไปไปไป no 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 stay here no you need We go there and then tuk 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 tam hup. No, 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 It's 2 30, so we've got like 2 hours there, 3 30, 4 30, inside the cave, but uh, like for 5 30, 6 30, back 7 30, 8 30, 30, 30, and we, we need to sleep here. Um, they don't understand a word English, we don't understand a word Lao, um, and we're just asking is there like any houses across the river? Can we sleep there or not? Uh, just because they say, well, we think. That if we cross the river, it's two hours walk to the cave. We don't know if we can enter. It, it sounds like it. That's what the guy maybe said. Yes, but then in a few hours it's dark. So, and then also they said we should take our bike. I think across, but then. And then the guy, the boat guy, said we couldn't take the bike. So, never thought we'd do this, but we're going to use the drone to find out if there's anything across there, like accommodation or anything, <laughs> and then we judge. Yes, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> I think it's their house. We don't know. We just know that I think they're all well. We think they're all going across the water. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I want to take this game with us. Hi, sweetie. So in the end, we decided to head back towards the main road. It, it was I trusted them, but I was just unsure about leaving the bike overnight. There were lots of different people floating around. Um, also, they wanted to charge thirty thousand for the boat, which may not seem like a lot but I, I'm just like after spending a long time in Laos um, it feels like it is quite expensive um, and we just weren't sure what it would be like in the cave they said there could be I think they said there could be water up to your um, waist so uh, I think for us maybe do a little bit more research and come back another time who knows maybe on the way back up north but it was it was a good fun little adventure and we were happy to, yeah, to, to embark on it. Let's do it! If you see something beautiful, tell me to stop because I'm going to do the same. And this time, I like slammed on the brakes, turned around. Here's the image. 
Also, we thought we'd pick up some snacks, so we got some kind of donut looking thing in here, <laughs> and then these, and they're super tasty. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy we learned something new. Bomisin, bomimpa. It means we don't eat meat or fish. And that's like really helping us now when we go to shops, we just say, ah, bomi, eh, bomisin, bomimpa. Bomi and, and then we just like, ah, oh, this is good, this is it. Step life. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I think we have. How long to go? 80 kilometers back um, to Takek. Let's see. I don't know if we'll make it that long, um, but we're not in a rush. Bye bye! How do you? <laughs> One of the goats where they were going. He just said, I've got to cross the road. <laughs> nice. Here in Los Buds. I've got one for every occasion. <laughs> ah, I love it. We're now looking for a guest house, and everything in this area is quite expensive. Uh, double of what we used to pay. So I think it's just maybe a tu more touristy, not to uh, like tourist, but local tourist area. So yeah, we're just we're just Market. checking. Mark, Mark. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bit of a problem. Our headlight has died completely for some reason. And every village we go into, we ask about sleeping, and they say, "No, next village." They all keep sending us down the road, and. Yeah, it's getting dark and I don't want to be driving too much longer, but I don't see any other option right now. Ah. And we found a room. <gasps> oh my god, you cannot believe it. It was come see. super freaking dark outside <laughs> and I was really scared. Oh, oh come chat in. Go chat in. Look at this place. Like, we've got a bed that's like... And this time it's... It's bouncy. Woo! We got a bouncy bed. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It was super dark outside. We couldn't yeah. see anything. The lights used to work, but now not No, anymore. they don't. I think I'm going to visit a mechanic tomorrow. So <laughs> not one. Number six. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, I think we're going to call it a day at that. <laughs> we're going to go out for some food, probably get washed first mm -hmm. as well, because we look like we've been on the road all day. Which we have. Which we have. Anyway, we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And yeah, we see you on our next adventure. Woo! <laughs>